Okay, so here we are with a quick fix on how to get the air out of your coolant system. Um, some people have added uh, different parts and extended hoses and cut hoses and that kind of stuff to, to do it, but I've got a quick fix using a little water bottle and uh, a 7 millimeter and a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. So we're going to pause this, I'm going to hand the camera over and we're going to get started. So we've got a 3.4 liter engine here and this is a, uh, it's for the Chevy Venture, Pontiac Montana, those kind of things. Now we've got a 7 millimeter, we've just got to loosen this uh, bleed plug and be careful not to uh, do it too much. I usually just use the ratchet to do that and then I'll just grab this and see we've got we've got no fluids leaking out of here now our over here you can see that this is full but the engine gets um, air pockets in the top of it if it loses any any uh, fluid there so what I found is in order to get this to fill for whatever reason it's not pulling out of this uh, tank here and we've got some kind of leak probably in the water pump that I'll have to take care of when the weather gets a little bit warmer but for now my quick fix is to fill it down here. So we've got two bleed plugs, one on the uh, driver's side and one on the passenger side of, at the top of the engine. But it's not actually at the top. You can see the hose comes up here. It's not actually at the top of the coolant system. Now I've seen one guy and he adds, uh, he adds a height here with a, a T, a metal T, and puts on another piece. But I've got a quicker fix, and it doesn't involve cutting hoses. So let's take our 10 millimeter ratchet, and we're going to move the camera over so I can get over here. I'll uh, walk around the back and switch places. And what I do is instead of loosening this little um, bleed valve, I'm actually going to take the whole thing out with a 10 millimeter. So just be careful so you're not stripping threads or anything. And we're just going to pop this right on out. There we go. Now hang on to that. You don't want to lose that. And the, here's the quick fix. We've got a, a water bottle, just a standard water bottle. I cut the bottom off because I need a funnel to get the stuff in. And it fits snugly right on there. Now you can look, if you'll move the camera over here, you can look and see we've got a hole right down there in the middle and that's where we're going to fill. So we're going to start filling it up. I've already got my uh, antifreeze pre-diluted. And we just fill this up. And it will start sinking in there. Now what I'll do over here is I'm going to grab this radiator hose and I'll squeeze it a little bit. And you can hear that it's uh, squeaking air in. So I'm going to tighten this up so that I can get a little back pressure here. You can see it's bubbling up into the engine. Now the level of this fluid here is definitely higher than any part of the engine. So now, when I squeeze the hose, it's going to add coolant to the engine. I'm squeezing out the bubbles. I'm burping the engine. So we'll add some more. And this might take a bit. We've, we've run it a little bit. It, it just barely started showing the hot. And you can see those bubbles just coming up. The last time I had to do this, and it took, uh, it took about a, a gallon. So we just keep massaging this until we don't get more bubbles. And then I'm just going to loosen this bleed valve. We're not bleeding any liquids yet, so we'll keep going. Another thing that helps it is to uh, turn on the engine and run the engine. But the whole idea is once you get this fluid in enough, it's going to leak out this little bleed valve. That's when you close that up permanently. So I'm going to go start the engine up. Ben's going to film and uh, we'll see it bubble up here a little bit. I'm just not going to turn it all the way on. I'm just going to turn the starter a little bit to get the get the belt pump in the pump. Yeah, 
and you can see that that went lower. Now we can squeeze more out. We're just circulating out the air and we can watch the bubbles forming. And we're going to do that a few times until we get no more bubble forming. We're going to let it run this time for a minute. We're going to watch, see if we can't get more of these bubbles out. It's almost like CPR on an engine to get the bubbles flowing out. All right. So that's it, that's the idea. You just keep going until you've got no more bubbles. There we go.